It's big dog season. And you can't stay still because you want it. Mm-hmm. Talk that talk, George. You still scraping your plate because you're hungry. Mm-hmm. Talk that talk. Today is Sunday, September 29th, year is 2024, I am back, I went on vacation, took a quick little vacation to Aruba, uh, just a few days, it was hot as hell down there in Aruba, child. I was trying to go some. I tried to wait, this summer, this summer was a hot, miserable summer for me, and I was trying to go someplace, where I thought, vacation when I thought it would be cool, so... Uh, it was 90s. It was, it was, it was, you can walk across that damn sand in that beach without it burning up. Trying to sit out there by that pool was hot. It was just very hot, but the room was very beautiful. So I did a lot of stuff at nighttime when the sun would, would disappear. And the heat would, the heat vortex would vanish. Of course, I came back to Atlanta to a big mess here with this storm and tore everything up here in my house. Not, no damage to the house, but the yard's a mess. <coughs> um. But I did have a very, very good vacation. Uh, that was my, probably my last vacation for the year because I'm having orthopedic surgery on my shoulder. See this big shoulder. Um, on October the 9th, there are some bone spurs in my shoulder. They're going to go in there and remove those. And then I'm going to have to wear some type of device for the next four weeks. I'll be around him. I'm right handed too, so I'm like, oh, Lord. So that has to be done. Uh, I've been having this problem for a minute and now that I know what it is the bone spurs We're gonna go in there and have them removed and proceed with them um, You know You gotta get back on with I gotta get the bone spurs out because the bones There's two bone spurs and they're rubbing against my tendons. So 
watch. I'm not do something like when I was at the airport grabbing the luggage. Everything. I mean, it's been going on for a minute, so I knew it was happening. Didn't know what it was, and now I've got clarity on it. And get that. Gonna get that resolved. And now, in regards to my hips, I go to have a um a, co- a shot. My uh, what are they giving me a shot? They're gonna give me a shot in my hip next week sometime. I be um, I hope next week. Um, or this week coming up um, for the um, problems I'm having down there with my right hip it kind of is not getting better um, still irritated I did two rounds of prednisone and it was on the prednisone you know you can't stay in the prednisone forever so so anyway, that was that. So I got to, they're going to give me, what, a cortisone. They're going to give me a cortisone shot in my hip so we can see if that's better. Getting old ain't no fun. Yeah, but at least I'm here to get old to enjoy it because I saw some really tragic stories. Uh, when I was coming back, I saw a mother and her, a 27-year-old mother was in bed uh, with her two twin boys and a tree fell on the house and they didn't make it. All, all three of them died together. Sometimes we have to be grateful for, yeah, my shoulder don't feel good. Yes, my hip doesn't feel good, and I'm not happy with the circumstances. I can't work out right now. Y'all know I love working out, but I can't do anything right now not because it irritates everything too much. Not much than just doing some very simple stuff that I'm doing here at home. And I, after the surgery is complete on my shoulder, I'll go through physical therapy. And once the physical therapy is complete, they're going to look at this shoulder they got a similar problem here but i might be able to okay just even just t- doing this is horrible i might be this one might be not be so bad they'll know when we get inside here and look around because they say they really can't they won't know until they really get in there and, and, and start they do an orthopedic and send a camera in and this doctor is very good he's a sports doctor and just when you walk into his office y'all he always he has all these braves um Braves, um, baseball players, basketball players, football people, those sports, all, all, a whole bunch of people to sign pictures of all these people who have had similar issues, um, golf, all kinds of stuff. So he's he came well. Um, um, let me just say he is a, a doctor who specializes in sports, man, because he's like, you want to get back. As soon as I have the surgery, I have, on the ninth, two days later, I'm back in physical therapy. And physical therapy is going to be something consistent. So, um, uh, so hopefully, uh, once the surgery is complete, I can get back to normal and life can, because right now, I'm trying to figure out, you know, so I'm right-handed. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do certain things. Like, I'm going to be able to drive. So, that won't be fun. So, we'll see. Anyway, I had a nice time in Aruba. Aruba's a beautiful island. Um, the reason why, if you've never been to Aruba, you might want to go check it out. It's down, it's, uh, it's in the Caribbean, or just south of the Caribbean. I don't know if it's considered a Caribbean island or not however it's, the people are very nice um, it's a beautiful island we even rented a car and drove around the island and got to see a lot of the um, stuff it just was hot the food was mm, it was alright I mean I, well actually with the steakhouse we went to the Reuben, that was pretty good uh, we went there twice so there, that was good but the food at the hotel was mm, it was alright nothing spectacular I did not do all inclusive this trip because it just didn't add up. The all inclusives were high as hell, and I was like, "Well, shit, I don't eat that damn much any that way." So we didn't do the all inclusive. They do have several all inclusive resorts there, many, to be honest with you. But I chose a hotel I'd always wanted to stay at before in the Hyatt, and it was beautiful. Um, service was good. It was a nice, clean, well-kept hotel. I mean, that's the thing about when you go on vacation and the rooms are clean and the service is good. You kind of forgive them if the food ain't all that great. 
But in all honesty, we did not eat dinner at the hotel. We ate at the hotel and ate dinner in various other other places, uh, which is so. I don't know what their food was like at nighttime at the restaurants they had at the hotel. Um, by that time, we were, we were out ripping and running, doing other stuff. But it was a beautiful. Oh, they have beautiful, beautiful homes for sale down there, and they're not ex as, as expensive as you think. Beautiful homes on the beach. And they're out of the hurricane zone, so hurricanes don't come that direction. I don't know what other type of stories they might have at the inner room. I, mean, I don't know, but they don't get hurricanes. But um, the island, a lot of the island was, this, to me, it seems like sparse. It wasn't like, like it was a lot of people there. I don't know how about the population is there. Um, a lot of parts you're driving through the island, it's just nothing there. It's just, a, you know. There's a lot of development going on in Aruba, though. I must say that a lot of a lot of stuff being built, a lot of development, and a lot of stuff going on down there. If you're looking for a condo or a second home, they I would buy houses. The houses were gorgeous, and they were not that expensive either. And um, they actually have uh, financing, which was I thought was kind of you know because sometimes you go in a foreign country, they want you to pay cash for all that stuff. They're like, no, we have, we have we got banks that will. You get a more American mortgage. <laughs> you pick one. I'm like, well, I, I saw a couple I liked. I said, but I'd have, before I do something like that, I have to make a few more trips down to Aruba. But I buy a house on that beach. At least that. See, it doesn't bother me to go to some place like that and uh, purchase something because I'm going to be spending time miles anyway sitting out on the beach when, I, when I'm able to go down there. It's only a four hour flight, you know, so it's not that far of a flight. I would prefer Miami because you and I know Miami got that. Pow, pow, Problem going on down there, and they had that going on in Aruba. You know, the, I don't think there's much violence at all going on in Aruba. I'd have to really research that and see because it seems like, like I said, I don't, I don't think they have the crime issues that we have here in our American beachfront properties, like Miami and places like that, and for a lot of the other stuff. That stuff of what you get for the money in Aruba compared to what they're asking Miami and all that pleasure, I'd go to Aruba. That stuff was gorgeous. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow. And there were a lot of Americans there too, a lot of black Americans who own real estate there. Cause I met them. I said, Y'all live here? And they're like, Oh, yeah, we live our retirement home here. And so we met. It was a very nice time. We've never been. I would say go check it out. You know, it's a small island, so don't expect no, you know, it's, 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 a, it's an island. No different than, you know, there's a lot of water stuff going on. Uh, you got jet skiing and parasailing, boat rides. Everything's water related. So just if you enjoy that type of stuff, you'll be fine. Uh, they did have some stuff that you could do. They had those things you drive those four wheelers. They had those people driving around on those. A lot of tourists. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of tourists. A lot of black tourists, which was very amazing. It's a nice thing to see. You see a lot of black folks there. As you can see, we went to the hookah spot where all the black folks was cutting up. And then last night we went to the hookah spot, which was last night. Boy, we were there. We got there. That place was super duper packed. I was like, well, all you folks got coming. Many of them had just arrived in a room but the day before, though. Everybody was feeling. We had a really, 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 really nice time. No drama, no issues. Everything was great. I was strongly recommend Aruba if you've never been go check it out wear some comfortable shoes a lot of walking walking all over the damn island uh, and rent a car if you can this rental car is cheap um, now it may that might cut down on some of the walking but you still gonna have to park that rental car and walk there's a lot of stuff to do there but yeah there's a lot of walking involved that's why I'm sitting here tired now but anyway, it's just going to be a short video. I wanted to make a video. I know y'all probably going, where you been? I was on vacation trying to find this damn surgery. Not looking forward to the surgery. Kind of looking forward to it so I can get this issue over with. But I'm not looking forward to the recovery time. I'm going to have to recover pretty quickly. Like, hey, that's, that's what I did in October. So that way, by the time Halloween comes and goes, I should be back to normal by Thanksgiving. We shall see. Anyway, a short video to let y'all know I am back. I had a nice little vacation. So I was going to make some videos when I was down there. But it was so much going on down in the room, y'all. I mean, it was so much. I, I need a vacation from a vacation. There's a lot of stuff I wanted to see while I was there. And um, we managed to do practically everything we wanted to see and do down there. 
but you really wanted to see some of that real estate because it was such a good price. You really can get you a damn good if you give it. Sometimes you're looking at these homes just in America, you know, stuff is expensive in the United States. When you can go other places and be right there on the beach, you know, the couple I met, I met, I met a couple of people who lived there. But one couple, they worked from home and they bought a house down there and they worked in Aruba. And they just, well, whatever, I don't know where, who they were working for, but they didn't say they worked from home. They have their, um, it's a different lifestyle. Imagine being able to live in a city where you're not worried about somebody shooting and killing somebody and carjacking and robbing and killing and, 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 and you know, you don't have to worry about all that. I'm sure it may happen occasionally, but not like when I came back in, when I was in, a, in Aruba and I was getting alerts from the news, I'm like, all kinds of shit was going on in Atlanta and various other places. You know, we could get these crazy people. Sometimes you got to get away from the crazy people. And it was very nice to get away and be around some sane people who were having a nice time without any type of drama but very helpful I didn't even see a police officer the whole time he was there not one I saw security but I didn't see no uh, Reuben police running around there I didn't see any I didn't even see a police station I'm sure they're there but but they say crime is almost non-existent in Aruba you know, very very low crime very, very low crime. But I can say I was only there a week. So you have to go down there and take a look around. If you plan on buying something down there, you might want to stay, you know, go down there and really take a close look. I think some of y'all might get bored down there. I wasn't bored. I had a nice time. Shit, I was going to the beach, eating my little breakfast in the morning time, finding the meat at night time, talking to people. I talked to everybody. And I, I, I had a very, very nice time. I was, was glad to get the fuck away from Atlanta after being stuck here all summer. I hadn't been there since I went to Turkey and got my dental teeth done, so this is my first time getting out of the country since that time. So hopefully after this is done on the 9th, within a few weeks, I'll be able to go do something else. We'll see. We shall see. Just got hopefully, I don't know, I call this Dr. Murr and schedule this cortisone shot. Hopefully that will make me, the cortisone shot will feel better. Anyway, today is Sunday, the September 29th, the year 2024. The year this September is coming to a close. We're now going to try to get out the Halloween decorations. I thought I'd blow all these down. It's like a cabillion leaves over here. I'm going to blow all this mess away. I'm guessing I can get out there and do that after I pack and do a few things here in the house. Anyway, Sunday, September 29th, the year 2024. I'm out of here. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Hope you had a great time. I'm out. And y'all have a beautiful Sunday. I'm out.